Well, we're halfway through the second week of the school holidays and we're all running out of bright ideas to keep the kids entertained. Here with their top tips, mum of two, Arnie Wilson, John Cowan, a parenting expert from The Parenting Place. But we're going to kick off with Rich Rowley. Now, Rich is from The Mind Lab because the philosoph philosophy, I can't even say it, on your holiday programs, it says week two of the school holidays, this is why, is allowing kids to let their imagination run wild. Now, Rich, is this what we as parents should be doing, letting our kids just go crazy? Uh... Not too crazy. Um, <laughs> crazy with a sense of just a duty. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think the thing is, um, you know, there's, there's so much stuff that you've got lying around your house that you mm -hmm. can use to make uh, really cool stuff to explore science and technology. OK, talk me through. So what's this? Um, so these are just some things that we've used to explore light. So that's a homemade torch that works with a little LED. Um, mm. What's this? This is phase two of it, so how you can turn that torch into your own superhero signal. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and uh, just bits of cardboard, tin foil, and, uh, and, and a little bit of electronics. So anyone can do this sort of thing, is what you're saying? Absolutely, yeah. OK, talk me through what this is then, because it looks magnificent and it looks slightly dangerous. Uh, it's not dangerous, so that's um, a homemade solar cell. So, once again, this is just stuff that you can get from the supermarket or Bunnings. Um, CD case, some copper sulfate, uh, betadine, a uh, couple of other little bits and bobs, and you've got a homemade solar cell. What's the cell. white stuff in there? Uh, that's Twink. Twink? Yes. This is crazy. And this will charge things. This will actually charge things. Yeah, it's, um, it's microvolts, so it's not got a great voltage, so it is safe. Um, you can hook it up to a homemade capacitor to store the charge, and you can obviously uh, discharge that in all sorts of various ways. This sounds really cool. And you're saying you can get all of this stuff just at the supermarket or at, at, at your sort of local hardware shop? Absolutely, yes. Or oh, it's just things that you've got lying around your house. Uh, we do have, you know, there are specialist bits so that you okay. can get from electronic stores like battery packs. Um, we use these a lot. These are called Makey Makeys. They, they cost $20, and it's probably the best $20 you'll ever spend. Where, where do you get a Makey Makey? Uh, we get those from AliExpress. OK. Um, OK, well, that's, that's pretty... So it's all about helping children just figure out ways to use things, everyday things, in, a, in an unusual fashion, which is fantastic. Now, Anna, you, as a mum of two girls, do you have any tips, anything up your sleeve that you use for school holidays? Oh, absolutely. I think, um, for me, Mel, it's because I'm a single mum and I have uh, an eight-year-old and a five-year-old who are very different children. Um, so for me, it's whenever I come up towards school holidays, I've got to understand that one will want to do one thing fast and the other one will want to do something calming. So it's about actually being prepared for me. Um, and I find, you know, coming from a very, very highly stressful background, yeah. where we're used to being in 10 different places at once and let's go, 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 um, I find that the kids are actually a lot better to me if I'm 100% present and we put on some music because okay. music actually calms their heart rate. Great, so put some music on, turn the phones off and the distractions and really exactly. engage with your kids. Yeah, and get outdoors. Start, you know, the, the amazing things that we actually have in nature, just like you, um, Rich, is... Go to the park and use the things around take you. Take a plastic bag each and tell them, find feathers, find rocks, find um, sticks and Fabulous. leaves and create creatures when you get back to home. It's John, amazing. Thanks, Arnie. John, what about you? What do you reckon are the best, best, well, the best advice you can give to parents who are getting into, you know, week two, mm. everyone's getting a little bit frazzled. Unless you're Arnie, the, she's got it together. I think the best thing is to realise you're a parent, not the entertainment officer on a cruise ship. Oh, so you, we're not Julie from The Love Boat. You, you don't have to do entertainment all day. Divide okay. the day into three parts, morning, afternoon, evening. If you're arrange something for your kids on one of those parts, you're probably doing a pretty good job as a parent. Okay. And especially if you're working during the day, uh, there are some things you can do in the evenings that are great fun. One of them's camping out on the lawn. Just okay. as much fun as going to a camping ground and you can duck inside and use your own loo if you have it's to. It's actually better than going to oh. a camping Absolutely. ground. Absolutely. Okay, so do the little things and just once again engage with the kids. Yeah. Sleeping Marai style in your lounge. Pull all the mattresses into the lounge and turn the lights out and tell stories in the dark and play with torches. Oh, fabulous. It's great and you're not out in a tent. That sounds even yes. better. Well, thank you guys. That's really, really great advice. And if you at home have any questions for the coffee group, do get in touch via our Facebook page. Now over to you, Mike.